Hi, it's Mike Bruno with the Boyko Law Office. I just returned from the state of Arizona on a deposition and I'm wearing the official neckwear of the state of Arizona. It's called a bolo tie invented in Wickenburg, Arizona in 1948. The question I'm answering right now is how does a personal injury case end? And I've come up with four ways that a personal injury case can conclude. The first way is the typical way, and that's a settlement. I would say that 95% of the personal injury cases that we handle end by way of settlement. That means a voluntary payment from the insurance company accompanied by a piece of paper that the client needs to sign giving up his or her rights to any proceeds by virtue of the claim. The second way that a case ends is if a client has not filed his or her action in court within two years of the accident or the injury. Then you've lost your rights. The statute of limitations is typically run two years for negligence cases. If it's an intentional tort case, you only have one year to file. So then the case could end. The third way is for those cases that are already filed in court, a dismissal. That means you simply dismiss the case or a judge dismisses the case for some sort of reason. And the final way is, in those cases that are filed in court, is a final judicial action. That means you've gone to trial on your case and the judge or jury has issued a final ruling in favor of you or in favor of the defendant, in which case the case concludes at that time. If it's in favor of you, you will get a monetary amount of money depending on what the verdict is. If it's in favor of the defendant, that means you get zero and the defendant walks out of court the victor.